we're going to review the segmental anatomy of the left pulmonary artery. We'll start at the left main pulmonary artery here, and we'll look at the left upper lobe branches first. So more superiorly, we have the anterior segmental branch of the left upper lobe pulmonary artery, as well as the apico-posterior left upper lobe segmental pulmonary artery. Uh, remember on the right, there's both an apex and a posterior segmental branch, and on the left, there's the apico-posterior. Then moving down to the lingula, we can see that there are two segments within the lingula. We have the left upper lobe superior lingular segment pulmonary artery, and then inferior to that, we have the left upper lobe inferior lingular pulmonary artery, which supplies uh, the more inferior portion of the lingula. Then moving on down to our left lower lobe pulmonary artery, remember there's always that superior segment pulmonary artery, which we can see right here as it courses inferiorly into the left lower lobe main pulmonary artery. And then going down to our basal segments, we have our anterior basal left lower lobe segmental pulmonary artery. And then down here we have our lateral basal and posterior basal pulmonary arteries. There's no separate medial pulmonary artery for the basal segments of the left lower lobe. You can see that that posterior pulmonary artery sends out a branch that goes to the medial basal region of the left lower lobe. So this has been a review of our segmental pulmonary arterial anatomy. Again, for our upper lobe, we have an anterior and apico-posterior segments. Oop, right there. For our lingula, we have superior and inferior segments. And then for our lower lobe, we have a superior segment, as well as anterior basal and lateral and posterior basal segments.